I know a lot of you new riders out there don't want to start on a slow bike because you're like cycle cruiser you know why should I get this slow bike and then I gotta sell it and then get the bike that I want why can I just get the bike that I want now a lot of you guys like to start on a Yamaha MT-07 I'll tell you this is a really amazing bike I've had a lot of bikes and I, I'm telling you I'm not getting rid of this bike this is one of my favorite bikes out of all the bikes I own and this is a bike that you could potentially start on and of course you can grow with I'm never going to get rid of this bike so this is a keeper right here but this is a faster bike it's not a super fast bike like liter bikes but it is a faster bike it's got a snatchy throttle I mean it's got a lot of bottom and grunt that's what makes this bike fun but that could be bad for a new rider but in this video I'm going to tell you how you can start on a bike like an NT07 or even a faster motorcycle. Let's go for a ride. Subscribe today. When I got my first motorcycle, I got a Honda CBR 250R. And it took me all of less than two minutes to learn how to ride a motorcycle. Um, I just jumped on the bike and I started riding. It's very simple and easy to shift gears on a motorcycle. Here's the gear shifter right here on the left side and then the other pedal here is for the rear brake. This is your front brake and this is your clutch. The shifter shifts as follows. One click down is first gear, half click up is neutral, half click up from there is second gear, click up from there third, click up from there fourth, click up from there five, click up from there six if the bike has six gears. Each time you make a gear shift change, you pull in the clutch and release it, okay? The hardest part for a new rider is putting it in first gear, okay? But with the fast bike, you're going to have to be very careful with the throttle. That's the key because with a faster bike, if you whiskey throttle and give it too much gas, it could buck you off the bike if you're not expecting it. <laughs> And if you give it too little gas, the bike will stall and cut off. But I'm going to tell you, no matter what you do, guys, make sure you're wearing the gear to stay safe out there on the streets, especially you new riders out there. And I have these heated gloves, which are awesome in the winter right now. I have links to these, my airbag vest to help keep you safe. Definitely get this, my ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet that comes with an automatic tent shield, my Dionysian winter jacket, boots, glove, pants, all my gear. I include links in the description and comment section of this video. The controls on the Yamaha MT-07 are like most bikes. Of course, you have the key here, which turns on the bike. On the right side, you have the starter button and kill switch. To start the bike, you slide the switch down. To kill the bike, you push the button in and that'll kill the engine at any time. You have the hazard lights here. So if you pull over on the side of the road and you're in distress, make sure to put your hazard lights on. You have your left and right turn signal here. You cancel the turn signals by pressing the button in. You have the horn button here. You have the uh, high and low headlight switch here. And you have the trip info and toggle switch here on the controls, which will toggle between various features on the display. You have the clutch lever here on the left side. On the right side, you have the front brake lever. Uh, on the left side, you have the gear shifter right here. On the right side, you have the rear brake lever. So what you're gonna do is you're going to take your left hand, you're going to pull in the clutch. Right now we're in neutral. Okay, so you're going to do a half click. You're going to click down. That's a half click to first gear. Okay, bam, we're in first gear. Keep the clutch pulled in. Right now, if I were to let off this clutch, it would stall the bike and it would cut off. So you want to leave this in. And every time you make a stop, you always want to pull in the clutch and apply your front and rear brake at the same time. Okay, some bikes have combined ABS brakes. Uh, where when you pull in the front brake, it also activates a portion of the rear. Some do, some don't. Get in the habit of using both the front and the rear brake at the same time. It all stops. But when you make your brake, your braking stops, you have to pull in the clutch every time you want to stop. Okay, now we're going to let it out in first gear. You're going to let off the clutch slowly and you're going to give it gas at the same time. Remember, let off the clutch slowly and give it gas at the same time. You got to do it simultaneously. Okay, so there we're going to go. Okay, slowly release the clutch. Give it some gas at the same time. Not too much. 
like I said with the fast bike you got to be careful with the throttle you don't need to give it a lot of gas very little if you give it too little like I said it'll stall the bike so we're in first gear right now okay now we're coming to a stop you're gonna pull in the clutch and you're going to apply the front and rear brake so there we go we're in first gear okay so now we're gonna make a turn you have your turn signal here okay and I have a bad habit of leaving them on so don't do that like me and then when you want to cancel the turn signal you just simply press the button and it cancels it okay so we'll turn that on like I said slowly let off the clutch and give it gas bam we're in first gear now you want to go to second gear pull in the clutch and then you're going to click up pull in the clutch click up you're going to do it there you go we're in second gear okay and you do that you know third gear fourth gear fifth gear and sixth gear for riding out here on the city streets with the mtl7 and fast bikes you know like liter bikes super sports etc second gear is all you need for city riding for speeds up to like 50 60 miles an hour um you don't even really need any more than that until you get on the highway a lot of you ask you know when should you shift to the next gear what you don't want to do is you don't want to redline it in any gear because that's going to damage that could damage the engine if you redline it for too long listen to the engine to make the shifts don't look at the rpms some people teach you you know at a certain rpm shift or forget that listen to the engine you want to keep your eyes on the road i'm in first gear and now i'm putting my foot underneath the shift lever and I'm going to pull in the clutch and then I'm going to click up once and that's going to take me to second and I'm going to blip the throttle at the same time and I'm in second. Now when I go in third, same thing, I'm going to click up, I'm pulling the, pull the clutch and then click up and then blip the throttle just quickly. See that? See how my, just a quick blip. And now I'm in third. The RPMs you hear it whining if it's screaming to you it's saying shift shift <laughs> so you shift a second see it calms it down listen to it that means the bike's revving too loud it could cause damage to the engine that means you gotta shift shift in the second okay so pull in the clutch click up that second and for just cruising around here on the street probably second is, is fine okay so now you want to downshift to downshift you just pull in the clutch and click down so we're gonna pull in the clutch and click down now you want to do a little blip of the throttle you know you're gonna let decelerate slightly like this a blip of the throttle when you drop a gear so we're gonna pull in the clutch click down we're in first and then you're going to pull in the clutch see we're getting ready to stop here but we're going to make a turn here okay like i said i, I left said just put it in second gear okay push in the turn signal here to cancel it as a new rider i recommend obviously take the msf class they'll show you how to ride they'll test you and everything but if you're going to be hard-headed and you want to teach yourself how to ride um here you go man okay now we're coming up here like i said it all stops right now we're in second gear i'm pulling in the clutch now i'm in second gear but you want to make sure you click down back to first at the stop you always want to be in first gear at stops okay so we're in first gear here like i said we're going to make a lane change put the turn signal on and i also use arm signals as well oftentimes so they make sure they see me when i'm making a turn of course cancel that turn signal see we're coming up here to stop i'm in first gear no need to click down we're already in first you're just going to pull in the clutch and hit the right the front excuse me the front and rear brake at the same time okay well if you want to get in the habit of always using the front and rear brake at the same time let off the clutch give it gas at the same time we're in first gear okay you know while you're riding you want to you know keep the balls of your feet on the pegs okay and then when you're ready to use the shifter then you bring your foot forward we're going to pull in here 
that's that's all there's to it there's really not much else to it guys <laughs> it's very simple but the key is when you're using when you're on a fast bike is to be very careful with the throttle because i'll show you look if you whiskey throttle it look at that front wheel pulls up a new rider is not ready for that it bucks them off the bike so that's why really you know i say an mtl 7 is really not a great beginner's bike um but if you take the msf class they teach you how to ride and then so you got a little bit of skill set when you get out of the msf class then you'll be fine on the mtl 7 probably be fine on the mtl 7 but some of you guys are hard-headed you don't take the msf class and then you go you go to the dmv get your temp license and you're ready you know you just want to start riding a motorcycle which you can by law and then you jump on an mtl7 and you don't really know what the heck you're doing it could set you up for real after update especially a liter bike or something even more powerful so be very careful that throttle that's really what it comes down to is just being careful with the throttle take the msf class though do it man don't be a fool riding a motorcycle is very easy it's very simple really it's all about staying safe out here on the streets man that's the number one thing you want to ride defensively and i have a video to show you how to ride defensively that's going to help keep you safe and i have a video in the top right corner click on that link and that'll take you to the video um, and also i have a how to ride a motorcycle series that's got you know instructional videos on everything um, when it comes to riding a motorcycle i'll include that playlist in the top right corner as well but anyways i hope this video helps you new riders out there so that you can start on the mtl 7 if you want like i said it's all about the throttle but anyways guys hit thumbs up really helps my channel when you do hit the subscribe button hit that little bell symbol so you get notified when my videos come out but i release new videos every sunday tuesday and thursday at 11 30 a.m eastern standard time check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.